Let's move on to another example here. Here we've got a diagram of a platform. We're going to paint the entire platform, everywhere except the bottom. So what's the total area that needs to be painted? Now what I want to start with, is I want to start with these ends right here. There's a bunch of dimensions we're not given directly. We've got enough information to figure them out, but we don't know all the dimensions of these sides. So if I start with that, that's going to give me enough information to figure out the dimensions for everything else. So first, let's start with the total height. We're not given that directly, but this piece and this piece should be the same height. I'm given the 55 centimeters, and this 35 should also match that height in that front corner. What I should be able to do is go 55 centimeters plus 35 centimeters equals 90 centimeters. All right, next, let's find this width right here. Now I know this 40 centimeter piece, which is the same as this piece, and I know the total bottom. So I can use that to find the top part. 118 centimeters. If I subtract off the 40 centimeters from this step right here, I should end up with my total width there, which gives us 78 centimeters. Now that I got all those dimensions figured out, let's just transfer these up here. I've got 35 centimeters. This is going, that this ledge right there, this edge is going to be 40 centimeters. That gives us everything we need. Let's actually figure out the surface area of that side. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut it up into two parts. That's area one, that's area two. Area of a rectangle is length times width. That particular rectangle has a length of 78 centimeters and a height of 90 centimeters. Multiply those two together and we get 7,020 centimeters squared. Let's deal with the area of the second square. That's the little one on the bottom. Still length times width. Let's go 40 centimeters. That's this number right there. Times 35 centimeters. That's this number right there. Area of the second part is 1400 centimeters squared. Okay, to finish this off, the total area of each side, we're going to add those two areas together. So 7,020 centimeters squared plus 1,400 centimeters squared gives me a grand total of 8,420 square centimeters. We also can't forget that there are two sides like that. So that's only one side. Let's times this by two sides. So my sides in total are 16,840 square centimeters. Let's put a box around that because we are going to need to come back for that number in a bit. Let's keep working our way through all of the faces of this platform. Let's go next to the top face. This face right there. This is going to be 100 centimeters by 78 centimeters. It's a rectangle, so it is length times width, which gives me a total of 7,800 centimeters squared. We're going to come back for that number, and let's keep moving forward. If we do the back, we're looking at 90 centimeters tall by 100 centimeters wide. That is 9,000 square centimeters. We're also coming back for that number. Let's move on to the step top next. That's this shape right here. That is going to be 100 centimeters by 40 centimeters. That gives me 4,000 square centimeters. Next, let's move to this upper front piece. So this piece right here. That's 100 centimeters wide and 55 tall, which gives me 5,500 square centimeters. And last but not least, we've got this lower front face, this face right here. That's also 100 centimeters wide and 35 centimeters tall for a total surface area of 3,500 square centimeters. Okay, the last thing we need to do here now is find that total area that needs to be painted. Keep in mind, you don't have to paint the bottom, so we're not doing that surface. But to find that total area that needs to be painted, we're going to take all these numbers, all of these surface areas of the faces, the ones in yellow boxes, and we're going to add them together. If I add all those numbers up, my total surface area ends up being 46,640 square centimeters. 
And that is the total surface area of this that needs to be painted. Part B, because you know we weren't done. So a can of spray paint covers approximately 10,000 square centimeters. How many cans of paint do we need to give this platform two full coats of paint? So the question is, how many cans of paint will you need? Important information, can of spray paint covers 10,000 square centimeters and we need two coats of paint. So to start with, let's look at how much area we need to paint. Well, one coat would take 46,640 square centimeters of paint, but we need to make two coats. If we multiply those together, we end up with 93,280 square centimeters of paintable area. We're going to use that number to figure out how many cans of paint it takes. So if I need 93,280 square centimeters worth of paint, and if each can covers 10,000 square centimeters of area, if I take the 93,000 divided by 10,000, that'll tell me how many cans. Those two numbers divided leads me to 9.328 cans of paint. Now right now is also when you have to start thinking about your question. When you're buying cans of spray paint, you can't buy half a can of paint. You can only buy cans in whole numbers. Now if we round it properly, 9.328 would round off to nine cans of paint. But if I only buy nine cans of paint, I'm gonna be short about a third of a can of paint and that won't work. So in a case like this, we're going to have to round up to make sure we've got enough paint. Besides, it gives us a little extra just in case we make a mistake. If I round that number up, we need to buy 10 cans of paint. Put a box around it, and there's the answer to part B. So last thing, we've got a part C of this question, and they want to know, what's the volume of this podium? If we have a look at this shape, we realize this is actually an oddball shaped prism. This face right here is exactly the same as this face on this end. So if I treat that as my base, then the height of this prism would be 100 centimeters. Formula for volume of a prism is your base area times your height. Luckily, we found the area of that side. We can use that as our base area, and we know what our height is. Now, according to the earlier question, we found that particular area to be 7,020 square centimeters. Be careful you don't use the area where you times the two faces together. We're only looking for one of those faces, and we're going to multiply that by 100 centimeters. Multiply those together. My volume ends up being 70,200 centimeters cubed. There is the volume of our podium.